As the prayer was going on, I got encouraged because when I read Psalm 9, verse 17, God made a declaration there. He said, the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. He said, word that has been set forth, and God is not going back on his word. And that is just what I want to bet. This afternoon, I would like us to consider something uh, the brief moment time can take. Um, Christ, you see, when we talk of building capacity, building capacity, we are not building capacity to manage a financial establishment. We are not building capacity to run an academic institution very well. We are rebuilding capacity, spiritual capacity, so that the church of Christ will fulfill the essence why Jesus said in Matthew 16, when somebody that speaks flippantly spoke graciously, I said, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And a flippant speaker said, excuse sir, you are the Christ, the son of the living God, of all heavenly secrets. None had leaked that way. Jesus said, ha, Simon, son of Bar Jonah. This thing you said is a leaked secret. My father has given you a secret that is the reason why I came down from divinity to humanity. What you have said is a revelation, Peter. And he, we now knew further about Peter, son of Bar Jonah. Upon this revelation, I will build my church. The church which faced persecutions, tribulations, quakings and shakings. But I'll give you that even the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church from fulfilling the word and the work of God upon the earth. And that is why we're praying and teaching us to pray. He said, when you pray, it's a simple thing to pray. Because they didn't say, teach us how to pray. Though some of your Bible translations say, teach us how to pray. That one is organization. But teach us to pray. is to enter prayer. Yesterday, when we say, praying in the Holy Ghost. Building up yourself, praying in the Holy Ghost. You saw that you caught fire. And when you catch fire, your shoe steps will show that this is not a normal walking step. I saw men doing like this, all manner of things. Because you entered into the essence of that war, praying in the Holy Ghost. Of all the buildings we have been, we may have been building, the church is the essence while the earth is still moving on its orbit. Actually, without the church, God will have closed the program of the earth. But the church is being expected in her three, what will I call it? When a kind of type, the church is a bride in preparation. Not too long, we came here and saw a beautiful bride and the groom. We that were friends of the groom were almost happier. That's what the scripture says. We saw the church is also what? A temple. And the building stone, don't tell me building blocks. It's not building blocks. Blocks are molded in a, a certain shape. 18 by 9, 6 inches. Emma, you will know better. But in God, we don't have 18 by 9 blocks. You have stones with different projections. So that they are Worried and chiseled and at the site and then brought us in the days of Solomon, the son of David. You know, Solomon told Hiram, Hiram, you are my father's friend. It pleased God not to allow him to build the temple for his God. But God had placed me in his stead. 
to be the king of Israel. What is happening that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. That is peace. In time of David, there was no peace. But in time of Solomon, there was great peace. Solomon, Solomon tells me and say, there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Lord, may it please you, we will be alive to say in this nation that we have passed through stages. Today, there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence in the name of Jesus. Solomon gave Hiram that testimony. And he said, you know what, Hiram? You are a lover of my father. Float me cedar. Float me wood. Bring it to Joppa. (laughs) <laughs> and Hiram saw that. Hiram, if he replied, say, Blessed be God of your father, who have blessed David with such a son. Lord, bless our land and bless us, your people, with future children, offsprings that will do better than we are trying to do in the name of Jesus. That is the prayer for now that God is going to raise Young men and young women who will have more understanding and understanding of revelations and what the church, the Israel of God must do. And in that day, in that day, no person will teach the other. (laughs) According to Hebrews 8, know ye the Lord. And you know how God said it. He did not say from the greatest to the smallest. Is from the smallest to the greatest. I thought we'd say amen. Well, how Bible arranges things, God has the reason for it. You know, if we are talking about people, we say the greatest, then we talk of the smallest. But in God, you start from the smallest. And then you talk of if any person is greater. Praise the Lord. I just scribbled something. I said, let us as God's people, as this chance is given, at the centrality of Christ, in the spiritual capacity building. You know, we are making spiritual, we are, I'm happy I made a good intro. We are not building a company or you exploring. We are not building all these things. We are building a spiritual society that will say of the Lord, the Lord, He is God. You know, when Israel crossed the Red Sea, as if it were a dry ground. Something happened. The chariots of Pharaoh and his soldiers made entry into the sea. God is wonderful. He allowed them all in to the expanse of the great Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> you know what? At the great uh, Red Sea. Uh, by privilege, this is not boastful comment. If you have traveled to Asia, you see that it's a, lo- a wide sea. The Mediterranean Sea, the aircraft flies sometimes two hours. We are still looking down, it's still there. But Israel walked across it on foot. And Pharaoh's chariots came in. And they were pursuing, giving a hard chase. <laughs> it was now the time of God fulfilling his word. By the way, as the prayer was going on, and I was shocked that the confirmation which I'm supposed to be confirming, but the there's going to be a sudden death in this land. Mark it. I was just sudden death. Sudden death. That sudden death will put politicians, every person in awe. Because when the Lord appears, every other thing must disappear. And he says, when as they were crossing, God said to Pharaoh, stand by the side, stretch forth your hand. Moses, forgive me. And when he did, the sea started closing. 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 I don't know, maybe historians and sociologists, they've not been able to tell me on my reading. I'm not saying, you may tell me after. The name of that Pharaoh. (laughs) But all we know that. Everything his soldier, general, every person swept away. And the people sang. 
I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider thrown into the sea. The Lord, my God, my strength, my song, has now become my victory. The Lord, my God, my strength, my son, has now become my victory. The Lord is God. The Lord is God and I will praise him, my father God. I will exalt him. The Lord is God and I will praise him, my father's God. I will exalt him. The Lord will give us, lift up our countenance. You know, in recent, yes, thank you, Sister Nonso. That was why we were jumping in over there. You know, you must learn how to do a jasco. Now, <laughs> and you do your cardiac tests. After the worship, you check whether you are panting. People like Agatha, Bobby, all of us. So, we thank God. Yes. Thank God. I want us to just read a scripture. Uh, because there will be no time. But let me go on. Psalm 78, verse 70, uh, 67 to 72. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim. Go ahead. Mo uh, the dead bodies. Wow. But he chose the tribe of Judah. The Mount Zion, which he loved. Hallelujah. Go ahead. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth which he had established forever. He chose David also his servant and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes, great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. We can see three Goals, God set and achieved. He said, apart from the record, apart from the record of his former dealings, the scripture says, God in his decision went for his heart. God in his decision went for his own heart. And what did he do? The scripture says, he refused, was Joseph not a mighty, godly man, but God refused. <laughs> was Ephraim not the son whom the father laid hand on? God refused. But he chose who? Judah. He chose Judah. Brethren, God had chosen us out of his love. Let me tell you, when God loves you, he has us already done so. We can pride around. Don't tell me, don't say pride. It's in scripture. He said, we love, joy and pride will I extol you. You cannot extol God without adding some guy steps. I'm not trying to entertain this time. You cannot say, I'm extolling God who loves you. Do you know why you are important? It's because God loves you. It's not that you were important, then God loves you. No, we are important because he loves us. We are the apple of his eyes. And he's building us. Like David, let me mention the three so that if I'm finally kicked out, I can go and prepare for future. Now, what did he, yes, what did he, what did he do? Bible told us after God has taken his decision, he made a choice. What was his choice? To pick David and disengage him. Some of us soon will be disengaged in what we are doing. 
you make up your mind to be disengaged. I told a brother this afternoon, there's nothing as sweet as either voluntary retirement or properly retirement. You gain weight. You will be simpler. If you are driving in the city, you wouldn't be blaring on because you are not going anywhere. The people that are pursuing something. Now I'm bringing up spiritual essence. People that are pursuing secularity, that are rushing, but you are home. Even if you are going for school run at that age, you are not worried. You get to school. Praise the Lord. Oh, be smiling. But three things God did. Either he chose David. That is, he called David. How many of us, are, can we be rest assured and say, I know God called me. I, I tell somebody, I've been a church boy from my childhood. I didn't tell you I had been a born again. Did I say that? Church boy. And it was difficult for church people to preach to me. It took only SU people to get me converted. And you know what SU meant in those days? You are doing good. Your character is good. You, in fact, is it academic in school? You come first. You know that kind of person. But that is not what we are building. We are building, firstly, a man of character. But this character is by the indwelling Christ. It's not a learned, it's not what you learn from your mother or father. It's an indwelling spirit that is bringing out the life of Christ in you so that People say, you're a wonderful man. You know, the righteous man does not know he's righteous. Yes. When the Lord came down, he said to the goats, stay on my left. He said to those that are sheep, stay on my right. The sheep said what? When were we hungry? When were you hungry? And we gave you. When you become, you saw, some of us, including me, sometimes we are still consciously righteous. Conscious righteous. Do you know what is conscious righteous? Uh, let me give this man something. I don't know whether God is looking at me. You are conscious. But when it becomes your nature, you live out of unconscious righteousness. As believers in this time, our life must be unconscious righteousness. Faithfulness that is unconscious. It's not something that's okay, let me... um, No, it's a nature that you have obtained by guessing according to Corinthians 3.18. You have continued guessing. And there's elementary physics told of, of thermoionic emission. The radiation from Christ begins to uh, change your own uh, encoding. You, when you appear, what happened in the month of transfiguration and what happened to Moses? You know, Moses came out, his face was no longer lookable. He had to cover it. The people he went on a message for say, cover, cover, we can't see your face. May the Lord help you. As your character. And Jesus again telling us in these Psalms. Told us that God called him. Called Moses. uh, Abraham. uh, uh, David chose him. Then he gave him character. And he gave him competency. You know in those days when they want to. When they put an advert. uh, A competent hand in Pittman typewriting. I think that's what they used to put. Put Pittman 65 was per minute. You see people that have been on training in London and Guild schools. Amen. 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 So what we want to, what I want to work out with here, yes, we didn't have the time. Maybe God will permit so that because I'm just picking pebbles at the shore for now. But what I want to bring across is that as God's people whom he's building, character is good. We need it. But that is not where (laughs) the power is going to come from. The power is going to come from Christ indwelling us. Enveloping us. So that the life we live. He said the life I now live. I don't live according to my environment. I live from the power in Christ.